G'day everybody, this is Kiwi Joe Customs and Collections and today I'm going to attempt to repair this Tiger Cat which has got the missile rack if you look at this both the clips have snapped off and if you see my Snow Cat uh, repair job that wasn't an issue but the big thing that I need to show you is the wheel that's actually snapped off I've got the wheel itself and the hubcap that's not a problem but also another thing is that the rear part of the snow cap, so this nub here is perfect. That one there is snapped off, if you can see on the side. So I need to look at doing something that can go there and stay. Like it does literally stay on, but I want to make it look, look better. Uh, no need to give this a good clean because I've already done it. So without further ado, we'll look into seeing what we can do. Um, oh, also another thing is uh, these stickers are starting to fade off, so I might try and take them off carefully, give that a good clean, and reapply the stickers. Okay, team, let's see what we've got here. Okay, as I said before, the missile clips are broken, so I'm going to look into that. The clip over here is broken on that, so once again. But the first thing I want to look at is obviously the wheel here is is off, or snapped off. Now I could probably glue that on there and you will think that's good to go, but I still want to use this. And so I think what I want to do is possibly, if you can just see up close here, I've already like pre-drilled a hole or started drilling a hole there and I'm thinking about putting this this little screw here into there and hopefully it will work so uh, let's get into it so using this drill I'll just drill the small part hole Okay, so that's now drilled. I want to start screwing this on. Basically creating like a thread. Actually, I don't know what I might do. Heat this up a bit. Okay guys, I'm going to sort of do this a little bit more off screen and I'll show you what I'll get up to. Okay, so I've determined that roughly with a wheel like this that 
I need to put I'll smack that off a couple of layers of insulation tape around it so I'll just unscrew this it's very important to put the washer on first too Basically, thicken that up. With insulation tape. So that will take a while, so I might as well pause now and show the end result pretty soon. Okay, so that's the thickened part of the insulation tape. And it fits in the wheel quite nice. So what I'm going to do now is put it in there and start screwing it on. And that's it. What I love about the Tiger Cat and Snow Cat with the hub cap on, no one actually knows. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is look at repairing these clips on the missile rack. And if you've seen my previous videos on the Snow Cat, you'll know how I do that. And it's literally, I would. Remove these nubs here, simply with the plastic nubs here, and I'll send that back. Okay, so I send these back. I just basically did this off camera with the. Uh, I set a router tool, made it a nice clean job. And what I'll be using is this styrene sheet. And it's at 3.2 times 3.2 millimeters. And actually what I've got to do is basically get this and cut it and on a slight angle and put that out with put it out with super glue and vice versa too. This not sure if that's a fine crack or not. I mean look at that that is if you can see there there's a fine line, there's a fine crack so what I might actually do with that as well is just do a bit of super glue inside that just to add a bit of strength. So put this one side. Basically with my vivid. So I'll go up there. Maybe even a little bit longer. So what I'll do is go about there. And I'll 
put that to the side. Hopefully you can see this. Right. Let's give that a little quick sand. Okay, so with the trusty super glue, I just basically put a bead on there. Nice and easy. back it just a wee bit. Hope you saw that. Right, so I'm going to do is repeat the same process. Now, as I said before, that looked like it was a weak point, so I want to apply a little bit of super glue on the inside there, just for some extra strength. Okay, now position this. Yeah, that was good. I'll just apply a little bit of extra glue in here. Cool. Basically what I'll do is just leave that alone and see if that works. While I'm waiting for the misrack to set, I'm going to try to repair this clip here. And what I've found is that I've got a couple of clips here. Obviously I got this from a... I think I got this from a printer and I just basically tripped, um, trimmed off a couple of pieces off that and it matches the yellow. They actually end up gluing 
on top. And I think before I do that, I should take these uh, rib bits off and this have a smoother and a lot more serviceable glue on. Okay, with that sanded now, I shall apply the super glue. Next lot. I just need to move it over a bit. Okay, while we wait for the uh, back section to dry, let's test this. Voila. She is, whoa, she's almost on. Just be a little bit careful. And she's on. Look at that. That is first class. I'll quite right with that. This is a paint job and uh, that is good to go. Version of this uh, tie cap is now dry, or not dry, is now set and we'll. Look at that, that is good. That is staying on here. That is good. So that means the wheel's back on, muscle rack's back on. Well, here it is, team. The tight cap fully restored. With the new wheel, wheel nub in there. And as you can see, she rolls around quite freely. You can just sort of see inside the... Inside there, the, um, the washer and all that. But really, with the hubcaps on the tie cap and the snow cap, um, which I really love. I, I wish that the uh, Hasbro applied more hubcaps to the um, JoJo line to sort of hide those nubs. I didn't do anything with the stickers. I just basically sort of reapply some glue on there. And as you can see, I'll bring this up closely. That is the new uh, clip for the missile rack on that side. 
and that's the new one at the back. You can only sort of see it slightly because the color isn't exactly right. But yeah, I'm quite chuffed with that. That's that's the breakage on the wheels that I on the wheels here. Going in there and up there, that is a breakage that I see quite a lot. And that's worked out really well. So I think we should bring Frostbite version 2 in here so you can pilot the Tiger Cat. So I'll put it on one side. And if you remember on my previous videos, oh, all about the snow cat. Here's a snow cat here. And frost white version one. And that is all decked out for snow. Uh, the funny thing is the tie cat is actually decked out for desert and jungle themes. So that's why frost white's got the brownish sort of camouflage clothes so I suppose instead of having a heater and uh, instead of having a heater like the snow cat has now the tire cat's been decked out for air conditioning to keep it nice and cool and right here is the new clip for the missile rack on the snake here and also I, I put the new clips on there but you can see that on the previous video I'll put a link uh, in the descriptions on that one I'm a big fan of both the snow cat and the target I really love the target with the yellow black brown spray paint and a fierce tiger look to it well i want to say thank you so much everybody for sticking around this long for the video uh i've got to say the tiger cat looks really awesome now all completed and restored i'm absolutely wrapped at the wheel came back for the wheel knob worked as well as it did and I will be using it with future um, future restorers especially with the wheel nub completely taken off uh, the missile rack once again like to say, say, say the same as the snow cat works really well it's probably even tighter so I wouldn't really want to play around with it too more uh, much often which I don't anyway I just basically display these guys Frostbite version 2 is looking really mean in this vehicle uh, and that will go really well with my Tiger Force collection. And I'll set this side down there. Everybody, please like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to drink water. Um, please leave a comment. Let's keep this Jojo community going strong. I say this almost every video I, 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 that I produce. Um, but I also have a lot of fun doing these projects. I've got a few more customs and collections to do. The weather's looking really great, so sooner or later I'm hoping to do this converting this tiger fly into the dragonfly. And with that, everybody, I want to say, with another drink of water, Yo, Joe, and thank you so much for watching. Bye.